What's up, you guys? Uh, it's a little rainy outside, so I'm just gonna do a little, I'm gonna show you a little trick I use to help mobilize my shoulders. You know, I, I might have miscommunicated in other videos saying my shoulders are sore. Uh, everyone's shoulders get sore. My shoulders are not actually sore, but due to a surgery I had back in the 80s for an old football injury, I've got stainless steel in my right shoulder and just cold, I'm not warmed up. This is, if my palms are facing each other, this is my unrestricted overhead right here. This is just, without lifting my rib cage, right here, this is my overhead. Okay, palms forward or pronated here. This is, this is what is easy for me to, to move in, okay? Now, if I take a mini band, and that's why I'm wearing these glasses because I'm gonna be putting this mini band on my wrist like this. It's gonna be in front of my face in case this thing snaps, I'll be safe. So, all right, so if I have the band at its resting position, it's actually pulling my hands inwards. With my palms facing, if I do this, I have to activate my external rotators in my shoulder. That reciprocally inhibits the internal rotator, the subscapularis muscles, uh, and the armpit area. Those are your arm wrestling muscles. So if I do this, now, my overhead, and this is just a light band, goes to this. Okay, if I were to do that without this band on, it would be a struggle. Okay, so I am not elevating my rib cage. And this is my overhead when I am externally rotating or pulling outward on this mini band. It's a super cheap hack for act, at least, you know, for me, this works really well, okay? So once again, if this is here, this is my unrestricted range of motion, palms facing each other. If I activate the external rotators in my shoulder by putting the mini band on like this, Okay, to bring my hands to, to even with my shoulders, I have to fire my external rotators that uh, recipro reciprocally inhibits my internal rotators, my subscapularis muscles. This is now my range of motion. Okay, so I like to do this because if I take a bar like this and I just and for me a light PVC is harder for me to lift overhead without comp compensation than a heavy barbell is because with a heavy barbell I can kind of lean it back and, and I can push it behind me and lean forward and it'll give me it'll I'll produce a false range of motion with that bar with a light PVC, I can't do that. So if I'm hold, if this were a barbell, and I, I'm gonna just press straight overhead, right around here, right around here. If I force it, I can go to here, okay? I mean, and there's no reason for me to lie because I'm not selling you mini bands, right? This is just, okay, so this is right here. Okay, now, if I take cheap, easy to get, find it anywhere mini band. I now grab my PVC, just pretend this is like a barbell. Okay, but I like to use PVC because I can't lie when I use PVC. Okay, now once it's here, I'm gonna let go of it. So, because if I lock my grip onto this bar, my external rotators go to sleep because now my bar is just holding this band stretched apart. So once it's here, I let go. Now I have to fire all of these muscles to keep this, this, this band um, stretched from here without compensating, without lifting my rib cage. This is my overhead. Once again, with a light PVC, this is a much more truthful test of how this mini band trick works. I'm not elevating my rib cage 
You can see my arms are shaking at the top, but it's more from pulling outward on the band, obviously, than lifting this PVC pipe. One more time. All right. Okay. So, all right, and then bring that in. So if you have a similar issue to me, your shoulders are not necessarily acutely injured right now. They're simply just stiff because you're old like me or you're just whatever, and your overhead is restricted, try a mini band. I hope that works for you the way it works for me. Much aloha.